Hi guys, I hope you guys are well. Happy Sunday. Hope you guys are good. I received some words um, from God, but I just have to take time with delivering them. Um, this word that I'm going to currently deliver, deliver, it does reference to the book of Micah. I had I had been reading over the book of Micah and you know last night God revealed something to me actually not last night it was early this morning I always say last night because it's, it looks like nighttime outside but it's like early early morning like four o'clock ish kind of thing right and I just hope people don't take this the wrong way but I have to be obedient and the other day I posted a video and I talked about how there's many of you guys there's people out there who have tried to curse you who have tried to tarnish your character who have really tried to put you down and who have really tried to affect your life in a negative way in hopes that whatever it is whatever greatness that god has for you you won't be able to achieve it a lot of the curses these very people spoke on your life are hitting them i talked to you guys about this last time the very things they said about you is affecting their life the very curse they try to put on you is affecting their life. The very spirits they try to send you is tormenting them. And I was talking about these evil people, witches, warlocks, spiritualists, sorcerers, like people who are really evil and doing things on purpose to tarnish you, to try to hurt you. But God revealed something to me last night. This is actually also affecting those who are operating under that religious spirit who have tried to also devour your character and it's sad to say this but it's the truth so this is a confirmation to many of you that there are certain people out there who think they're worshiping god but they're not there's people there's people out there who are literally under a curse and they're under the law of the spirit of Baal like they're literally worshiping Baal and this is why you will see that some people who claim to love God this is why they're extremely evil you always don't you always ask yourself like how is this person a Christian yet they're doing this right now we're not supposed to be perfect we're not supposed to be perfect and none of us are perfect but have you ever wondered how a person can be a Christian but be attacking people with witchcraft cursing people you know what I mean? Gossiping about people, slandering people, and they're in the church claiming to love God and praising God. This is because they're not operating through the fruits of the Spirit. They're not operating through the Spirit of God, the Spirit of Christ. They're operating through the Spirit of Baal. The Spirit of Baal. This is why a lot of them, they sit comfortably in the churches. Some of these people, the Spirit that they are operating under is giving them instructions and is telling them to come up against you. Because you're a true child of God. So that spirit they're operating under is telling them things about you that's not true. The spirit, because the spirit of Bill is the spirit of, it, it, that spirit will confuse people. That spirit will confuse people. And a lot of the times people say, oh, well, because I know the Bible in the back of my hand, study thyself approved. That means I know more than you. That means I'm this, I'm right, you're wrong, etc., etc., etc. But yes, the Bible says study thyself approved. But you still can't exclude the fact that a relationship with Jesus Christ is important. A relationship with God himself is important. A lot of people are missing that. The devil knows the Bible like the back of his hand. Does that mean that he's approved? No. You get what I'm saying? There's people who are very mean and very wicked who have weaponized the Bible and used it to their advantage to try to tarnish you, to try to hurt you to try to devour your character, your name. There's people that use the Bible and mixed it with curses and tried to place curses on you that you didn't even deserve. And the sad part is some of these people used God's name to do it. You can't use God's name to curse his chosen who didn't do anything to you. That curse is gonna fall back on you. And that these people that have been doing that and using God's name as a form of a weapon to come up after people that didn't deserve it, that did nothing wrong, people will do negative things and use God's name to justify them doing evil things. That is that is blasphemy, and not only that, but that is a call for judgment right then and there. That's you will get serious judgment for doing that, for using God's name to validate evil. 
it's like a person will sit there and they'll have wicked intentions in their heart wicked motives in their heart and they will go and use the bible and, and try to use it against you and you did nothing to them and try to justify their wickedness using the bible justify their wickedness that's what god is upset about right now and a lot of these people who are doing that they're under the spirit of Baal. they're listening to that spirit giving them instructions and you wonder why some of these christians come up to you and they're like oh god told me this about you that god told me that about you that's not even true that's because they're not hearing from god and because they think it's true they think it's okay to slander you they think it's okay to tear you down they think it's okay to try to word curse you and tell you certain things are not going to happen in your life and try to speak all these negative things on you not realizing that that spirit they're operating under is not god and the spirit they're operating under is Baal. And that spirit is what is leading them to destruction. Right? A lot of these people right now are under serious judgment. And here's what God told me. They are currently under attack. They are currently under attack. Because a lot of these people, they try to curse you and try to use God to justify them cursing you. But you did nothing wrong to them for them to curse you in the first place. Do you see that? And these curses are affecting their lives right now. So they are seriously under attack. So not only are the witches and warlocks under attack for coming up against you, but the people who are under that religious spirit of Baal, they are under attack as well for coming up against you. Because you can't use God's name to justify cursing one of his chosen, one of his anointed, one of his prophets. They literally touched God's anointed and did his prophets harm and used his name to do it. Do you know how messed up that is? See, when it comes to a witch and a warlock, they're not using God's name to try to curse and hurt someone. They're using the name of Satan, okay? But there's people who are literally using God's name to try and curse his very own anointed and his very own prophet. That is, that is worse than a witch and a warlock using the devil's name to try to curse. That is worse. And this is why I tell people, you got to be careful who you put your mouth on. You got to be careful who you think you can talk bad about. You have to confirm things with God before you jump and act on it. Because there is a spirit that can pretend to be God when it's not God. And people who don't know God's voice... And who don't have a relationship with God will completely fall. They're, they're, they can literally fall under the spirit without even realizing it. And further damage their own life. And that spirit will literally convince them that a real prophet or a real anointed is bad or not real. Just to make them come after that prophet or that anointed just to further damage their, their life. It's deep. So I'm here to give you the confirmation that some of these, these people who claim to love God, who came up against you, they're current, a lot of them are currently under attack right now. By the very curses they spoke on you, by the very spirits they tried to send you, a lot of them are reaping what they sow right now. Okay, love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.